Hi there folks, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be having a look at um, what is supposedly one of the most popular watches at a certain high street jeweller in the UK. Um, it's uh, a Pulsar, packed full of features, this little thing. Little, it's not that little. Um, but yeah, let's get into it, let's have a look. Uh, very quickly we have here, you can see our resident minion holding the instruction book. Uh, which doesn't give you a lot of instructions. Most of them are online, uh, but that is your guarantee. It comes in this uh, plastic kind of shell clam case. Um, all hard plastic, but, you know, certainly uh, up to the job. Uh, let's get into the watch. It's uh, all 316L stainless steel. Uh, the reference number for it is uh, PZ4. 021 and as you can see it is an analog and digital so yeah packed full of features this thing uh, as i said all 316l stainless steel uh, we'll rattle through some uh, measurements for you we have a case width of 44 we have a lug to lug height of 52 and as you can see it is quite a tall one this and that comes in at 15.6 millimeters so yeah fairly tall uh, the strap starts at 22 mil at the top tapers down to 19.9 so we'll call that 20 and then back up to 22 at the clasp. Um, the, uh, everything is polished on the sides. Um, got a little bit of brushing on the top of the lugs and a little bit of shaping down here, just to kind of add a little bit of interest to it. Um, we'll get in a little bit closer on that dial now. Here we go. Uh, now, as you can see, this is one of those uh, kind of low light, digital dials uh, but it's actually pretty easy to read uh, functions wise uh, you've got a mode button at the bottom left which will change your mode and then we go to your day within your second time zone and then you have a chronograph and then you have a data recorder so you can store stuff so plenty of functionality with this one you have a countdown timer and then you have an alarm and there's three alarms that you can have on this and then you have your world time which is currently set to New York time and uh, it also has your current day and date on the uh, far right hand side um, and your digital time at the bottom and your current city at the top to scroll through your cities you can either press the top button which will then scroll through the cities for you or you can press the bottom one to go back the other way and obviously continue on should you wish to um, you got uh, all kind of baton markers for your uh, your main indices and uh, around the uh, the rehort chapter ring i suppose that is you've got your five minute markers um, as I said, the date window is on the right hand side where you would expect it, but it's in digital format as opposed to uh, a uh, mechanical rollover date window. The um, bracelet itself is uh, Pulsar. Obviously, you know that they're Seiko or owned by Seiko. So we've got a very Seiko looking bracelet. Um, it's not a push pin one like the, uh, the normal Seikos you would expect. This is actually folded links and uh, they really are very folded as you can see they're quite stacked in there um, to uh, to change them is a bit of a bit of a fiddle and a faff um, this particular one will fit maybe I think probably an eight inch wrist uh, at the clasp you've got pulsar which is stamped in you've got a pressed metal clasp and a polished case back as you can see it is covered in my fingerprints uh, with the uh, 
the Seiko Wave logo on there. You've also got your, your model name. Uh, the crown is uh, unsigned, um, does not screw down. 100 water meters, uh, 100 water meters, 100 meters water resistant even. Let me get that one right in a minute. Um, so yeah, it's actually, it's a pretty useful daily wear watch. Cost of these, uh, considering all the features that they've got, um, they're $49.99 currently, um, and you can, uh, they, some places are trying to sell them for kind of their full retail, which is apparently £120, uh, which actually sounds quite a lot. But at $49.99, yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's a great little daily wear. It's a, a good one for, uh, you know, if you've got your, if you need to do lots of timing or anything like that, and you're uh, you're kind of working outside. I mean, this is a great thing. It's not going to slip under a shirt cuff, I don't think. Not at that thickness. It's quite a chubby thing. Uh, the bracelet does actually, we have uh, female end links, so it does actually drop down you know, immediately at the end of the uh, end links, which are hollow. Um, so yeah, it does conform to the wrist quite nicely. Uh, Weight-wise, we shall get a weighing machine in here. Here we go. Uh, weight weighs in at 161 grams. Uh, let's get that in there so you can see that. There we go, 161 grams. Uh, so yeah, fairly weighty. You certainly know that you've got it on. Um, but uh, I think for the for the money, yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's not not a bad watch really. Um, you know, Pulsar, as we said, you know, owned by Seiko, so uh, you know it's going to be reliable. I do believe this takes two batteries, one for the analog and one for the digital. Um, there is uh, there is loom on the uh, on the indices, but it uh, it isn't that great. I'm assuming it's the Seiko Lumibrite, but there isn't much of it on there. But it does have. Um, a backlight feature. There we go. You can see the loom. You got the top left button, which gives you your backlight, which is very clear. Um, you don't have to have the uh, second time zone set to uh, um, your. Uh, uh, yeah, if you like that, this one is at New York time. Uh, if you scroll through, you can have it at GMT. So if you're using this at night and you want to use the backlight feature to tell the time because the loom isn't uh, isn't shiny enough, then uh, that, that's easily done as well. You just scroll through until you get to your GMT. Okay, so that's it. This is apparently one of the best selling watches in the UK at the moment on this high street shop. Um, I might as well tell you the name. It's H. Samuels. I don't suppose uh, anybody outside of the UK will have heard of them. But yeah, um, yeah, not not a bad piece. Not a bad piece. I will do you a quick wrist shot. And by, by the way, today I have the Marchand Classic Driver on. Um, so we'll pop that down. And we'll show you what it's like on the wrist. Yeah, it's a decent snap in place. And that's on my seven and three quarter inch wrist. So, uh, you yeah, know, it sits quite nicely on there, you know, because it's a relatively short lug to lug in watches of these days, you know, it, you could easily get that on a slightly smaller wrist. Um, but it is, like I said, it is quite tall. So, yeah, there we have it. The Pulsar PZ021. If you like it, I'll leave a link down below where you can find it uh, it's available on Amazon as well um, might even be a bit cheaper on Amazon we'll have a look and I'll leave a link to it anyway uh, if you like this video if you could leave me a thumbs up that would be fantastic and uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I upload any more content okay that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one